Hello everyone, welcome to Physics Mage. This is an interesting problem to check your understanding about electric field, Gauss law, and conservative forces. So let's solve this problem. In another world, instead of Coulomb's law, electric force F on a point like charge small q due to another point like charge capital Q is found to obey the following law. They have given vector F equals capital Q small q into 1 minus of root of alpha r divided by 4 pi epsilon naught r cube vector r. Here students here we have to check out one by one options and see which one is correct here. So they have also mentioned that alpha is a positive constant and vector r is a position vector of small charge q related to the capital Q. Okay, so let us uh, visualize here that there is a point charge Q and another point charge small q. Okay, so from the location of the point charge capital Q to the location of the small q, this is our position vector, and the force is given by this idea that the force at this point will be in the same direction of the position vector and that value is f so by definition guys you know that vector f is a force acting per unit charge is our electric field right so just rearrange the terms here if we send this q to the denominator we'll express that as electric field and you can observe here we'll have q by 4 pi epsilon naught r cube into 1 minus of root of alpha r into r vector so by just observation we can easily like identify that the first option is correct okay and the second one the line integral of this electric field e dot dl over a closed path is also zero as in our world so this is an interesting idea so we'll go with our normal coulombic interaction to check whether it is correct or not then we'll go with the given electric field here students here e dot dl minus integration from Point 0.2 to point 0.1 let's say that is v1 minus v2 this is our definition suppose if we consider like 1 and 2 are at the same point meaning if we consider a closed loop integral e dotted with dl then 1 and 2 are 1 and the same right so v1 will be equal to v2 so it is going to be 0 this is correct with respect to coulomb force meaning using e equals 1 by 4 by epsilon naught q by r squared r cap which in turn can be written as 1 by 4 by epsilon naught q vector r by r cube here when this electric field is used this is correct we already adopted it we know this but to have better idea about what is happening with the present problem if we explore a little bit of vector analysis here with respect to our well-known coulomb's expression it becomes easy so let's think about this suppose if this is a point charge q and we are aware of this the electric field lines i'm showing like this electric field lines will be radially outwards so just to have a little bit of visualization i'm showing like this these are the electric field lines because of this point charge okay so they are all outwards outwards electric field lines okay now suppose if we are moving from one point to another point imagine we are moving from one point to another point here so point one to point two okay now as we move like suppose say if this distance if i name it as a as we move from one to two in such a way that such that this path right the arc we are dealing with this line suppose if you move like this if you move in this format such that the distance is exactly a it is like arc of a circle suppose if you are moving from one to two in this path as shown we know that at every dl you take any dl here dl our electric field will be perpendicular at that point our electric field would be perpendicular to the dl so basically e dotted with dl turns out to be zero so what we have to observe is suppose if there is a point charge here 
and if we consider moving from point 1 to point 2 like this point 1 to point 2 suppose if this distance is a and this distance is a suppose if we move a in this path then in this case e dot tl if you evaluate at every single point at every single point this evaluation will give you zero because at every given point e and dl are perpendicular to each other okay now suppose if we think of the other scenario let's say if we have a point charge q and the point one is here the other point is here let's say in the same direction okay now as we can consider the field line will be in this direction this is the electric field line okay now as we move from point one to point two if you are moving like this let's say point one to point two we are moving in this way then our dl vectors dl vectors will be in the same direction of electric field vector so we will get some positive value for e dotted with dl e dotted with dl will give you some positive value okay suppose if we go from 2 to 1 suppose if we move from 2 to 1 in this way okay the same e dot dl will give us negative value which is exactly the same thing what we got previously from 1 to 2 same value but in the opposite sense because we have now dl is in the reverse direction of electric field okay so if you recognize this suppose if you move from point 1 to point 2 again 2 to 1 we call this one as a closed loop okay if we complete this closed loop we reached back to the same point meaning our so called position vector our so called position vector this vector has increased its size again it decreased its size so it came back to the same original size and the direction so we can observe that here the value of e dot dl turns out to be zero e dot dl for closed loop will turn out to be zero so this idea if you know then we can generalize this one like suppose if you have any point charge q suppose we start this point as one we can move in random path like this and again if we come back to the same point our initial position vector and final position vector would be one and the same this itself is a final position vector even two would be the same location right so we can say that our integration of e dotted with dl that turns out to be zero in this case also so knowing these things will give us a better clarity about our problem now so let's check out this story of electric field being equal to capital q by 4 pi epsilon naught times 1 minus of root of alpha r times of r cap by r squared instead of position vector r i'm writing it as unit vector r cap so we have to evaluate now e dotted with dl or a closed loop so meaning our initial point and final point should be same so we are trying to question this idea so for that i'll take two random points okay and going with the same logic we are trying to get this e dot dl so let me write e here and dl so for simplicity we don't know like in which direction this particular path would be right so i'll be taking from one point to another point randomly that path could be any random path right so at this point from one to two we are moving along the described arrow like this okay so basically we are taking small dl dl like this and we have to keep evaluating e dot dl and move from point one to point two such that i am assuming that point one is at a radial distance a point two is at point two is at a radial distance b okay now as we can easily observe here vector e dotted with dl can be written as dl parallel to the electric field plus dl perpendicular to the electric field so i'm just splitting this dl into two components suppose if this is electric field at that point i am considering small dl like this suppose if this is dl this dl can be split into two components like this a component which is in the direction of electric field which is dl parallel component 
the other one which is perpendicular to the electric field dl perpendicular you know that the electric field dotted with the dl vector right perpendicular one that will be zero you know that these are all like vectors so if we can observe here e dot dl parallel will survive e dot e dot dl perpendicular will vanish so we can write it as a to b e dotted with dl parallel so once we recognize it is parallel then we know that it is going to be in a radial direction either moving away or moving towards us correct so we can even simplify this one as the value of e given as q by 4 pi epsilon naught 1 minus root of alpha r divided by r squared dotted with okay let me write r cap dotted with dl parallel dl parallel let me write it as dr times of r cap so it's a unit vector in a radial direction so let's simplify this q by 4 pi epsilon naught we have here r cap dotted with r cap and simplification of this will give us let me write one more step here it is 1 by r square dr integration from a to b then plus we have integration let me write root minus of root of alpha outside root of alpha r by root of r by r squared dr from a to b yes students i am just taking q by 4 pips not outside and simplifying this expression so please check it out i hope you can easily observe this so basically we are evaluating a to b e dotted with dl okay so as we continue this integration part the first term right by just observing this you can write q by 4 pi epsilon naught the integration of the first term would be minus 1 by r from a to b right so we can easily write this one as say minus 1 by r b to a then minus so the second term you can write this r power minus 2 and half would be there so it becomes r power minus 3 by 2 so r power minus 3 by 2 plus 1 divided by minus 3 by 2 plus 1 so it becomes r power minus 1 by 2 by minus 1 by 2 this is what our integration is a b and here we'll have root of alpha this is what our expression is i hope you can easily check that one out so then we'll have integration from a to b e dotted with dl being equal to so we have the integration value q by 4 pi epsilon naught and our values let us substitute here it is going to be 1 by a minus 1 by b and we have plus 2 root of alpha i'm just simplifying this minus of minus it becomes plus 2 times of root alpha into 1 by root of b minus 1 by root of a this is what we have i'm just substituting upper limit followed by the lower limit okay now dear students if a is equal to b then we are dealing with the closed path line integral so it becomes e dotted with the dl okay so we can write here in place of b as a only we can observe here it turns out to be zero correct so meaning even the so-called new expression that will give us the same relation as we find with respect to coulomb's law in our world so even in the another world this is valid so our second option right this one that is also correct statement okay then gauss law integration of e dot ds being equal to q n close by epsilon naught also holds true for this electric field dear students we already discussed this idea with respect to one of the problem so i'll just brief out here suppose if there is a charge q here at some distance r we can think of gaussian surface which is enclosing this and we know that at every single point on this Gaussian surface, the value of E would be same. Reason is E depends only on the R and we know that here the distance, radial distance is R. So the magnitude is same. 
So by using Gauss law, we can predict the charge enclosed inside this Gaussian surface. But as we can see here, inside this Gaussian surface, Gaussian surface inside this, we can see that there is charge capital Q. So if you try to predict that charge enclosed as epsilon naught times like integration of E dotted with dS, you can observe that at any given point we have our dS vector. Our dS vector is in the same direction as that of electric field vector. The angle between them is zero. So we can write this one as E dS. So epsilon naught integration of E dS. And since E is same everywhere for every dS, we can pull that E outside. So integration of dS and epsilon naught as it is E value as we got already, that value we can place it here. And integration of dS is four pi R squared if R is the radius, okay? So Q enclosed. Now Q enclosed will be equal to epsilon naught E value. E value as we found from first option, it is Q into one minus of root of alpha R divided by only magnitude part here. So Q into one minus of root of alpha R divided by four pi epsilon naught times of R squared into four pi R squared. So we can cancel four pi R squared with four pi R squared and epsilon naught and epsilon naught getting canceled out. Epsilon naught with epsilon naught getting canceled out. So Q enclosed inside this Gaussian surface can be observed as Q times of one minus of root of alpha R. So obviously we know that inside this Gaussian surface the charge is Q. But what we are predicting by using Gauss law is Q times of one minus of root of alpha R. So obviously Gauss law becomes invalid. Correct? Is invalid with respect to our given electric field nature. So basically we can say our option C is going to be a wrong statement. Then all the above statements are true, but this electric field is not conservative. Dear students, we know that work done by the applied force can be written as Q times of final potential minus initial potential if the charged particle is moved slowly. So here we know that work done by the applied force depends upon final point and initial point. And in our analysis, we just discussed that here since electric field depends radially right so it depends only on initial point and final point final point it doesn't depend upon like how we are taking it and all so we can say that it is going to be a conservative force because the work done by the electrical force depends only on initial point and final point it doesn't depend upon how we are taking it it doesn't depend upon the path of integration correct so we can say this is conservative, but here they are saying it is not conservative force, right? So we can say it is wrong statement. So option A and option B would be our right answers. Dear students, I hope you have understood this. And if you like this explanation, please hit the like button. And if you have any doubts, feel free to put that in the comment section. Thank you, everyone.